It's about to get real. Oh God, here we go. <laughs> He's warming up. Oh God. CS gas tablets. Yay. Gas, gas, gas. They are the three words that you never wish to hear, whether training or in a real NBC or CBRN environment. Welcome everyone, it is Matmus, and today we are talking about the gas hut and training for being a part of NBC or CBRN environments. NBC, or Nuclear, Biological, or Chemical, or CBRN, Chemical, Biological, Radiological, or Nuclear environments are something that absolutely terrify me personally from being a part of the armed forces. The reality is that as a military force we have to operate potentially in environments that are extremely dangerous with these kind of agents, chemicals or radiological properties. But we are given some really good training to prepare us for these kind of situations. Now I'm sure many of you have seen the footage of those soldiers going through the gas huts all around the world in different militaries and how kind of unnerving it is to see that kind of footage. Sometimes it's a little interesting to see, you know, their people's reactions, but uh, some of them are also quite funny to watch. Let's take a look at this one. Now, of course, many of you will see the humorous side to that. You know, I myself, when I was going through my British Army basic training in the gas hut, it was kind of terrifying and also at some points rather hilarious when you're going through the gas hut with CBRN equipment on. The problem is that if you've never done it before, it is rather nerve-wracking to watch people go and suffer like that. Um, and when I say suffer, it's really only temporary suffering and it's very, very minor. Riot gas or tear gas, otherwise known as CS gas, is the normal agent that's used to actually run into a gas chamber to make sure that you're doing the drills properly and that you can, as quoted, feel the effects. This basically allows you to practice your drills in an environment that is, you know, in somewhat hazardous and reminds you if you don't do your drills properly, you're going to have a rather bad day by inhaling, feeling, or having this stuff in your lungs, on your eyes, in your mouth, and in your nose. And at first it does feel a little kind of terrifying to have it in your face and in your lungs and breathing it, but it really in overall grand scheme of things is nothing to be fearful of, and I know a lot of people when they go through this training have a lot of anxiety, a lot of nerves, and I want to try and reassure those who are going into training, it's nothing to be fearful of, please don't get terrified by seeing this kind of footage. We all have to run through it and you're trained to be able to, you know, uh, be tolerant towards it and at somewhat you know, practice making sure you get rid of the stuff inside your mask and do the drills correctly. It has a very serious side to it. We are not talking about just playing games and fooling around here, folks. This is something that is there to protect you and save your life if you got sent into an environment that is extremely hazardous. There is nothing worse, I think, in a military, you know, combat situation to have chemical agents or nuclear agents of some kind within the atmosphere that could hurt you or the soldiers or airmen, sailors around you. It is scary stuff and, uh, you know, it's something that we take very seriously. I personally take very seriously. CBRN training or NBC training is something I feel that I would love to do more of. Unfortunately, due to the fact that it is quite a, I guess, stringent process and there's a lot of things to get planned to do the gas hut training, it's not something we do much of and it was really nice to actually be able to well, get back into the gas hut with the Canadian Armed Forces and doing some training again. We all had a little bit of fun with it. It was a little enjoyable to just hang out with the guys and girls and do some training that was a little bit more low-key. Um, but it was fun at the same instance to re-get those drills back in my mind and say, actually, you know, this is pretty important stuff. Um, but I was enjoying it. It was, it was nice to actually train again 
in a you know CBRN equipment setup and uh, start practicing my drills to prepare for hopefully we never have to go into the environment such as NBC and CBRN. So I'm just going to kind of fire through the footage here and uh, you'll see some of the uh, you know skills and drills that we do and I guess some of the uh, the kind of process that goes through into going into the gas hut. And for any of you who have any questions, comments or concerns about this kind of training, please leave them in the comment section below. I would love to be able to give you some input, some background or just some personal experience from it. What I would like to make extremely clear during this video is first and foremost, I am not a subject matter expert on being a part of NBC or CBRN training. Our instructor was very, very good at being able to give us the skills and drills. He is a professional soldier knowing exactly how to do the training and knows exactly the kind of skills and drills that are needed to do this training correctly. And I do not want you to take away from this video any kind of uh, educational or informative uh, instruction that you feel that you can put on your own training or your own skills and drills uh, in serving whatever military that you're a part of. So I want to make that very clear. This is purely just for informative look down as to what we do and to give you a little bit of an insight of what CBRN training is like in the Canadian Armed Forces. That also applies to anyone asking questions in the comments section. I will answer them to the best of my ability, but if I cannot answer them with the exact information, I'm going to try and either get the information from someone who is fully trained in instructing NBC or CBRN, or I will unfortunately just not be able to answer the question because as I said, I'm not a subject matter expert on this kind of drill or in this kind of training. So without further ado, let's get into the gas hut training to experience what it's like a part of the Canadian Armed Forces doing this kind of training. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's time for the gas hut. We're going to put the spicy gloves on. Because normal cotton gloves do not do so well. I got my water canteen, but it, uh, it's probably rock. <laughs> it's minus 27. Gas, gas, gas! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gas, gas, gas! Gas, gas, gas! Now bring it up to the side of your head, like that. So you can drink. Very nice. Take some drinks in and then blow out. Okay? But because all the water's frozen, we're just going to simulate it in the hut. Okay? After you've finished drinking, put everything away so you can deep the make sure everything's deep the all the time. Great <laughs> then, put it away. To the gas hut. <laughs> there it is. Well, that looks In so the obvious. distance, it looks very ominous. Hey guys, go to the right a little bit so we can get the picture of the. There we go. The hut. She is awaiting us. Where she blows. Now nah, she blows. Round two. <laughs> it's a bit brisk on the face, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little brisk. There it is. One times gas hut. I like how you're puffing out your chest to get the shot. I know. <laughs> I have to, otherwise it won't get the right angle. Oh, oh God. Here we go. It's beginning. Oh god. <laughs> is anyone there? Is this is it, is it... <laughs> I feel like it's like a creepy pasta. This is like a creepy pasta show like 
soldering gas masks, staring at light in lone room in middle of nowhere. Oh. <laughs> He's warming up. Oh God. Here we go. Okay, 
Okay, baby. Remember, if you start struggling, let the other guy help you. One at a time, didn't tell us to change. You gonna go first? Go for it, big guy. And then take a deep breath and hold it. Good job, buddy. Good job, bud. Roger that. So let's play some key, ready? Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, I got the sponge up here. Okay, so you want to be? You can't let you want to be back. I did have the sponge. Take your hoodie down. Oh, thanks, bro. Take your head. You're going to slide you? Yeah, you're going to slide you. Watch out. Yeah. There is the culprit. The culprit of the pain and misery. CS gas tablets. Yay! Let us know when you're done with those, we're going to carry on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Good job, boys. Do you want me to hold the decontamination for now? Make sure you're going to have to get this off your head too so it doesn't get caught, right? Is that it? Good job, Damar. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching him first, brah! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's get the... Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, boy! Beautiful. Good job, bro. I'll Archie, Archie, come over here, bud. Have you done your drills? Yeah, you go first. Can I uh, get the pan again? Uh, thanks, bro.
Good job, Goff. Proud of you, eh? Well, nothing to be scared of, eh? Good job, good job. It does suck, it's not fun, but... This is fun. It's better than getting pepper sprayed. Yeah, exactly. That's why it's so important to do it right. Good job, Jared. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing a selfie for the boys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>